Hey everybody, welcome back to Shots Life. This week we'll be working on the 2005 American Eagle and this episode is all about the lights. And these lights. And these ones. And don't forget these ones. Stick with me! Welcome to my life. All right, so one thing on the coach that I've been uh, reading up on is this acrylic shield on the front. I know my light's not very good in here right now, so it's probably gonna be really hard for you to see. Let me see if I get over here. You can see it, baby. Well, basically, it's a big Lexon plastic shield that goes on the front. And in here, they have these little feet to go down, and there's that little white spacer in there. It's rubber. Um, so I can't find any information on those at all, but I'm, I'm missing like a bunch of them, right? And I really don't want this thing rubbing on the paint, which it already has been, on the front of this rig. So uh, I actually just went on the internet and just searched uh, forever, honestly. Just looked at pictures and looked at pictures. <laughs> and I found the little rubberies. It's not white or gray, it's uh, black, but uh, it comes from an elevator company. Elevator company makes these stops. So anyway, they fit, they work, they're the exact same size. Pretty cool. It's amazing where you find parts, I mean, whatever but anyway i got a bunch of those so i'll put those on and then i got some led uh turn signal lights so i'll be installing those as well so yeah let's do that i just need to clean it behind them would have been rubbing. And you can see where the you can see where the fiberglass has been rubbing on the paint, just because that thing was just so rotted. All right, so I've replaced them all except for one, and that one I can't get to. I have to get to that one when I take the shield off. All right, so I already took these off once. I just put these uh, bolts back in just to keep the lens from getting lost or whatever. I'll go ahead and get that back off there. Get the bulb in there. Kind of a pain in the butt in this regard. I'd also get like to get some LEDs for these projector lights, but you know, I like to do a lot of things. <laughs> so basically, I got these LEDs, but I'm worried about that because they talk about rapid blinker. If you sometimes LEDs make the blinker go rapid, and then you have to put a resistor on it. We'll try this out though, and see what happens, and then we'll go from there. No, your camera works not very steady, is it? All right, and let me just get that screwed back in, and we'll see how this goes. All right, I just used some turtle wax and shine this up the best I could. It's not the best. But... I'd say they're not going to miss that. <laughs> That's tag on bright. Almost irritatingly right. Oh, that light works good. That's cool. All right, so I got blinkers. All the way down the side now. I'd like to show you the old light in comparison to the new light, but both the front blinkers were dead, so can't do that. YouTube. Hey, today I'm out playing on the bus again. One of the things I wanted to replace was these dock lights down here at the bottom. When I hit the security system, they'll flash, but you can see how bright they are. They're not that bright, but uh, they let you know the security system status, but they also, uh, you can turn them on and they light up both sides of the rig all the way down uh, so that you can see as you're backing into a campsite late at night or whatever. Um, and they're just not bright at all, as you can see. So the goal here would be to 
take those out and replace them. I went on Amazon and found some LED truck lights, same size, right? They'll fit right in there. And also the chrome uh, caps I bought as well because these chrome caps are pretty cheap to, uh, chipped up and cheap. So. so I got new ones to put on here and I'm just gonna do that, take these off, take those out. I may have to do a little wiring because the sockets for the LEDs might just be a little bit different. They probably are. And then uh, put it back together four times. <laughs> All right, let me do this. These plastic rings I got on Amazon as well. They're just cheap. They look like steel, but they're not. They're just plastic. But I guess really all you're trying to do is make sure that the rocks don't chip up on the... and bust the light out. Man, these are some teeny weeny screws in these. These are actually longer. They're not really holding anything, though. Yeah, they're just cheap plastic. And that's what's replacing them. <laughs> cheap plastic. All right, this one probably, the seal probably fits in here and sucks it in. Hope it has the same connector, that'd be great, but I doubt it. All right, Ooh, that's dirty, dirty, dirty. Heat gun to heat up. These little solder things are great. I think I've shown you guys these before if you've watched my other stuff. But they're a plastic tube that you melt down and it has, it has the solder in the center. So you just push the two wires in, these red uh, plastic, they grip the, the actual insulation themselves. And then the, the white just sort of clear, just heat shrinks over the whole deal, keeping the water out. The end of these. And then you let it cool off for a second, and then she's good to go. Okay, this was a hard way to get to where I got. But uh, basically, I had to grind the hole out. The hole wasn't big enough. As soon as I ground the hole out, it slid right in, nice and flush. I did cut the rim of this off because this rubber rim is so thick on these, and I wanted to sit up flush. So I did cut this rubber rim back around, but I got it in there. So, a little fiberglass everywhere. Not that I wanted to mess with fiberglass, but um, yeah. So we got her in there. So now I just gotta get this cap mounted on it. See if it even will mount on it, actually. Where we go? Here we go. So that's, that's the look we're going for right there. And it's actually gonna sit nice and flush, so that's gonna be nice. Man, that looks nice, doesn't it? So much better. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't work. It's not plugged in. There it goes. There. There we go. All right. I think that's going to be good. All right. Well, one down, three to go. All right, YouTube. Hey, another thing that was going on with the bus here. I've been working on it this morning. I've uh, been doing the power shutoffs and uh, this old rusty thing. Yeah, you couldn't even turn it on and off. I mean, the old, so they had broken up. That goes the handle right there. But they had, they had broken the handle off. Um, so I uh, got in here and uh, put in a brand new one. So a brand new battery shut off switch for the motor. So that shuts the motor off. Uh, looks like it shuts the hydraulics off as well. And a couple things like that. I do, I do need to go figure out make my own kind of wiring diagram of this because it's hard to know where things are really going, but that should help. Um, I know I'm still leaking power because I can still hear the low power alarm going off inside the bus, uh, but hey, uh, each step we do, we're getting, or each step we do, each step we take, we get closer and closer to uh, getting these problems solved out of this bus. There just hasn't been any maintenance on this bus in a long time. Um, <clears throat> they did do like the oil filters and all that stuff. and. Replaced all these filters, but they definitely uh, let a lot of things slide. So I'm getting in here, and it's good because I'm learning more and more about the bus as I do this. Um, and we'll just keep chucking along and uh, fixing stuff as we go. But uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, 
pretty good little project i'm still working on these lights i don't think i've even filmed any of this i took this light out i've ordered the leds and i actually have them in now um so i may start working on that but both these tail lights i've gotten the euro style tail lights now to replace these old ones so i can get those done up and get them in here i guess all right youtube hey one of the things i want to do is replace these old tail lights they're just dark and nasty and had moisture in them and i don't know they're just dated um i did find i had research quite a bit excuse me but i did find on one of the forums that these are a chevy astro van <laughs> an old chevy astro van tail light and i did find them and i found them in a euro style so i'm going to go with that just to clean the brush up give it a little uh change the date of it i guess really and uh, put these on this one was like broken all the way down the end anyway i don't know they put like sheet metal clamps on there to try to make up for it or something i don't know but it's broken and they're all fogged up i mean that is just like a nasty it's been holding water so i can't wait to take that out when i did pull them though i realized that that's the old old bulb so i ordered uh, a box full of uh, leds no, i didn't buy a box so i bought a bunch to fill up a box but um and i tried a different kind of marker light too so i'll be trying those out to see if they're any better uh but i also got the uh uh 15 you know the 15 56 and 15 uh 57 bulbs and then the uh the same as my blinker bulbs i bought some of those because those were so powerful back there i just loved them so i bought some of those as well so i'll be uh well you can use them as reverse lights too so i'll be using those uh real real bright lights to put in here and uh replace play place these with those new leds and we'll see how they do um but yeah that's what we're going to work on now all right i got them fired up but you can definitely see i think there's a bulb out here but look how black it is and how messed up it is now on the other side is a little brighter i think they all the bulbs on this side work but no i think there's a tail light out there i'm not sure i think that tail light's supposed to be lit up too so yeah it looks pretty bad so we'll get these lights in here and uh yeah i think we're gonna get a lot brighter problem is they're not turning in the there we go that one went in okay so that one went in so I'd need to push down, I guess, harder on the... I'm not thrilled with the marker light. Um, you might not be able to see it as well in the picture, but it's like a pinkish color. It's not as bright. Um, it's not a red. All right, and I really wanted that red. But uh, it is what it is at this moment, you know. I don't have a... Not a lot I can do about it right this second. And the upper on this one's the reverse, so we're gonna do our little trick probably. Oh, look at the water just pouring out there. Thing's full, look at that, just full of water. Hopefully I got that on camera, I don't know. But it's just full of water. Oh, yeah, I don't wanna get that on my stuff. back of that coach is all lit up i just uh the marker light ones have to i'm gonna have to get red marker lights because those definitely uh look kind of pinkish i think it's gonna be nice i bet you uh, when i back up it's gonna be bright as crap but uh way more modern look than than before all right so that's our new look compared to the old I think it really dresses it up. I like the chrome. It dresses it up. It looks nice. It makes it look really nice. All right, YouTube. Hey, I've been working on the bus today and yesterday, actually. Yesterday, I went around and I replaced all the ceiling lamps that were halogen with LEDs, so they're all swapped out everywhere. Um, they look pretty good. Um, 
yeah and back here as well i mean there are all the galley ones all this right here still have an issue in the bathroom the makeup lights work and whatever but the ceiling lights still have an issue um i don't even know that i found the right switch but all the other lights are swapped out now i left those two regular just for ambiance it's a kind of yellowish light um i'd like to replace the light around the top with something a little brighter than that but you know it's for decoration or whatever it looks pretty decent um so now i'm working on the light fixture underneath the sink but to do the light fixture under the sink you have to take it out you got to get rid of the ballast and the starter to do leds leds don't work with a ballast and starter so i'll do that for that and then i'll come up here into this one and do the same thing with this one and replace them put leds in there so when we're in here trying to cook or whatever we'll be able to see very well so that's kind of what i'm up to and uh let's get these swapped out i know it's pretty exciting swapping light bulbs <laughs> did you ever think you'd be watching that on tv all right let me visit Basically, in this assembly, it's all one. The starter and everything's all one. And I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just going to get rid of it. And you don't really need to take this out. I just don't want it in here. Alright, so that little sucker's out of there. Just taking up space and weight. But I uh, don't need it anymore. I'll never go back to it. Once you put an LED light in there, it's done. You ain't going back. Gotta have them both in. Those are bright. Works good. All right, let's get these out and put this centerpiece back in there. All right, let's get our bulbs in. Put our cover on. We're in business. Definitely can see with that. Definitely can see with that. All right. There you go. Some good light there. Very well. Get rid of these old beams. Well, now you can see I need to clean again. Get rid of these old bulbs. A new trash box. All right, that's cool. Now I just need to do this one up here. Same way. Except for, I'm not sure if I bought lights that work both or not, but I'll have to see. Some of the fluorescents you can buy, they, they work with with the old stuff. Some of them, but I gotta look mine up. I can't remember. I know I was looking at them, but I can't remember if that's what I was ordered or not. All right, so the halogen bulbs that I got, or the LEDs that I got to replace the halogens are here. So this is your typical halogen here, man. These things get so hot. Don't touch them unless they've cooled off for like 10 minutes because they'll burn your hand. But these are the replacement bulbs I got, these LEDs here. I got them off of Amazon. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description, but uh, they're quite big. But they actually do fit in the pockets of those flat halogen, halogen lights, right? So they fit in there nicely. I mean, there wasn't a clearance issue or anything. I thought there might be, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, they're much brighter. I mean, I don't want to say, if you're looking for super, super bright, these are not the lights for you. If you're looking for brighter than the halogens but and don't want the heat of the halogens, these are the right ones for you. So I think three boxes is what it took to get mine done, my coach done. All right, let me get back to work on these uh, fluorescent lights. All right, so I didn't do the big lights because these are 110 and the light, the lights that I ordered to replace them were uh, 12 volt only. So thank goodness for Amazon, returned them and uh, got new ones on the way. And then I discovered these reading lights in here. I saw a button that says reading lights. So I wonder what that those are. So I replaced those two over there with the LEDs. I don't have enough to do these so i got more of those on order as well so yeah i just keep finding light bulbs everywhere 
Uh, I actually looked some up for those lamps over there. One looks terrible, and they're both hot as crap. So I got those coming. Uh, yeah. I uh, turned the fridge on just to see what it's going to do. I don't know how well it cools or not. It was cooling when we uh, looked at the rig, but I don't know uh, if it's working great or not. I'll check that out and uh, see, make sure that thing's working before we get too far into this. And uh, yeah, um, I think I had a little spell. I think it was the shower. I think when I, I don't know if I opened up the, the well, I turned the water pump on, so I don't know if that pump cycled it or, or, or something, but uh, definitely was stinky in here. I think I've gotten the smell out of there now. I put water in all the little sinks and that seemed to have backed up the sewer. I will have to sanitize the sewer, but I can't do it right now until I hook this to water and then I'll cycle it out and make sure there's nothing in there. Um, yeah. So we'll work on that uh, coming. No, I haven't even got to sewer yet. Uh, and then uh, windows. I'm going to have to do, I have a couple fogged windows, right? Um, there, you can definitely see this one, right? That's fogged. Um, these RV windows are not like your home windows. They're not argon inside there. They just do that and there's kits i mean if you go out and look on an rv forum uh it happens to all rvs at a certain time but you there's kits you go in there you clean the windows on both sides and then you put the window you have to take the window out of course but then you put the window back together after you clean it and then it's clear um yeah it's weird it's like 200 dollars to have a company do it for you per window um there's a lot of windows in here um so i don't know that i'd go that route we'll see what it costs to repair them i haven't looked that up yet but it looks like it's about 20 bucks with a material and a lot of time um so basically i'd have to take the window out i had to take the the then this case i'd have to take the couch out the window treatment and then the window and then take it all apart wash the inside of the windows put them all back together then put them back in and then put the window treatment in and put the couch back on um it's all doable it's just uh, a lot of work right in the rest of the cases, I can get to them all. I'll probably take the window treatments off, but I can get to them at least. Well, that was behind the couch, but I think I can get to that one pretty good. So, I mean, it just depends on where they're at, whether I can get to them or not. But uh, lots of cleaning to be done in here. Been, I've been cleaning on the roof, the ceiling, uh, quite a bit. And the stuff just keeps coming out black. So, we'll just keep scrubbing away and do what we can do. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for a minute today. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to check on my buddies down the street working. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. All right, so one of the things we uh, wanted to do in our motorhome is uh, the mattress was just absolutely nasty. Um, and so we uh, went and uh, got a mattress. It took us a while to figure out what we were gonna do. Um, we ended up with this, sorta. Uh, we had looked at several mattresses and uh, we looked at sleep numbers. Sleep numbers were like a grand for the cheapest one. Um, and this one's all, uh, the, the numbers, you can't read them. And then it's just a nasty mattress. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out. Um, this one won't be uh, an air mattress, I guess, cause that's really what sleep number is, but, um, yeah, I think it'll work just fine. So we gotta get the old mattress out and get the new one in. I don't know where I'm gonna leave you though. So you can see it all right here. You'll see us come by with it anyway. going out. All right, that's good. We got that thing out of there. Nasty old mattress. So I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner. We, uh, this had actually like a paper over the wallpaper or the wallpaper. Um, you can see a little places where we haven't got yet, but we were started cleaning it off. So that's what that is. But I want to get in there. Does it flip back? It's like this whole thing is on. It's like that whole thing's on a hinge. I wonder if it just lifts up. Well, maybe you have to. I don't know. 
know, maybe you have to unbolt it to do it, I guess. Something it rolls back. See how it's on rollers or something? Yeah. Maybe it just slides. I guess it does that. I don't know. Seems like maybe it's supposed to do it without unhooking it, but what do you think? We got the old pump out, maybe that's the old So we just go ahead and vacuum all this out and then we'll go from there. So that was fun it blew up it's a little taller than the other one that one's eight inches we knew it was gonna be a little taller which we like of course better pad whatever so we'll get a uh, sheets on her and all that stuff and get her uh just so it doesn't get dirty but at least we'll be able to sleep on some not somebody else's feet <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know, so good good clean mattress ready to go then we just gotta clean the rest of the bus all right well i think that's gonna be it for today on this part project I go inside and work on some stories in the basement. Yay. <laughs> All right, we're out. All right, folks. Well, welcome to the early 2000s or mid 2000s. <laughs> Look at this huge thing. <laughs> and obviously something's going on here. So I got a power drain or something going on in that. So I'll have to figure out where the fuse is for that and pull it because it shouldn't be getting power right now. It definitely shouldn't be running. But look at this old guy here. Oh. Pull this sucker out of here. I mean, look at this big old tube machine. Ain't that something to behold. So we need to get rid of this. Whew. All right. Let's get rid of this monster. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, it's hooked to the satellite and everything, wow. The sound and plug. Then it's got the plug. That monster is on here. I'll put these back just because I might need them. I don't know what for. I'm not going to mount that TV back in here. I need to get a flat screen and something. I need to get some kind of extended reach thing or something because this barely even clears this door. I know it's not supposed to be under the door, but this junk. Golly, this is literally weighs a ton. Holy cow. I don't know, the whole weight, uh, whole bus is sitting a lot higher now and I got that thing on there. <laughs> it is heavy. Crazy thing is, I think there's another one in this, this thing too. I think there's one up above the bed. I need to get it out too and put a flat screen there, just something a lot lighter. All right, well, it's been quite an interesting day so far. Good morning, or afternoon, really. Uh, this morning, I uh, changed the fuel filter in Big Blue for the first time. Um, very interesting. Uh, I don't have the easy fuel filter that's on the outside of the frame, halfway up the truck. I've got the hard one. Uh, well, there's two of them. There's one in the front, but those are both in the same place. But I got the one that's above the dry shaft and kind of like converter in the back. Uh, kind of a pain to get up in there. Of course, you got no way to get your hands up there you know sideways you have to get it from straight up so you got diesel pouring down your arms whatever but i got it done um interesting first time i've done it because it, you know it's out of warranty now so uh you don't know that but anyway it's out of warranty now so it's the first time i've done it myself 
Uh, and then I uh, loaded up the excavator on the trailer to the dump truck and excavator on the trailer for tomorrow. Uh, Paul, the, the head guy, uh, he's uh, uh, got some projects for us tomorrow. I think we got to dig up a water line that's leaking in the field. So I'm going to go do that tomorrow. So that's ready to go. And then I decided I better get back on this. Um, on this tail lights, you know, I replaced two of them and videoed that uh, quite a while ago. Uh, so those are on there looking good. And of course, I got the LED lights and I'm looking good, but I haven't done the other side yet. So I need to get in here, get these lights pulled, get the LEDs in the light sockets and then put the new uh, lenses on them. So that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, the other thing I got going on is I got uh, Chad supposed to come on Wednesday and uh, pour this pad. So that's going to be exciting, too. Uh, but this episode is not about that. This episode is about the RV. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're working that. The other thing I got is I got a tire that's going low on me slowly, a real slow leak that the guy didn't tell me about. Uh, so I will have to take that up to a big tire shop. I've checked it. I filled it up and then, uh, um, and it's, uh, just drained down again, just a little, it just be a real slow leak, but uh, it's always something. Those are like $800 tires. And, uh, axle in the front uh it's at the ad level for the fluid so i had pulled the caps on these i did that because i noticed something leaking on the other side and boop. and so uh so yeah and at first i thought the hub was leaking but there really is no leak in there it does definitely needs to get uh axle grease or uh, fluid in it you know uh, whatever lube but uh it's actually leaking from up here i thought because i seen the leak on here i thought it was dripping down because I had found this, but it's actually not the axle, I don't believe. I haven't found it. I mean, I've just been dry, but it actually was coming up from up in here. And then you can see kind of how it's staying around here. So I don't know if, if I have a feeling it's uh, one of the jacks for pushing the slide out is leaking is what I'm thinking. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not sure where they are yet. I mean, you'd think they'd be over here and I don't know why it would be leaking here so that, I still got to figure that out. So I'm not sure what's going on there, how that's finding the, the, the whatever this liquid is, is finding its way there. But I'm thinking less and less it's axle because it looks like they sealed it. I mean, it looks like it has a good seal on it. It's not wet. I've cleaned it and wiped it down. And since I've done that, there hasn't been any more. Um, so I don't know, maybe when I roll it out of the bay and, and roll it back in, maybe we'll figure out what, what's actually causing that. But it definitely is at the ad level and I need to add uh, axle oil. To it well i gotta figure out what that is too because i don't know what you put in these so yep that's one of the deals we're dealing with right there uh, i did get lube to lube all these up but i want to wire brush them before i do that you know spray them and wire brush them up the, the uh, gears for in and out so we'll be working on that and uh yeah i mean that's uh that's kind of where i'm at on this thing we've uh steam cleaned the carpets we've got the new mattress in i got one dock light in i gotta get the rest of those in i do have nice led marker lights all the way around I pulled the TV out of here. I've measured several times. I think I'm going to build a like a triangle frame that I can mount a big screen mount on that you can pull out and turn it any way you want to. So then you the mount would mount on this tray here. So you'd slide it out, and then the TV mount would be able to angle any way that you'd want it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in there right now. Um, but for now, I'm probably just going to clean it out, and uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Of course, I put new struts on it, so now the door stays up. But it's kind of awkward because the door's big. And then you're going to be pulling that TV out. And the way that it made, it's made now is it only pulls that far out. So it'd be way back here. So I'm thinking with the uh, large TV extension, I could bring it out and then cock it any way I wanted to out here. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what people do there on that. Yeah. But that's what I'm thinking right now. We'll see. In the meantime, let's get these <laughs> tail lights in and LED lights in that. I've been sitting here for quite some time waiting on me to do this. Of course, the weather is nice today. It's uh, 50, almost 50 degrees, I think. So and that's what's allowing me to do this today. So, all right, let's get this sucker lit up and get going on here.
right, that wasn't bad at all. Of course, I did the other side, so it made it a little easier. But there you go. New lights in, LEDs. Pretty classy. Pretty classy. I got this new chrome, too, but I need it to be a nice warm day to peel these off and then put those new chrome strips here. So, and there's the one on the front, too, but it's going to be a pain because I have to take the whole front apart to get to it. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you guys tagging along and I'll see you next week.